Today we're going to put uh, rear coilovers on. I got all the parts here on the table and I'm going to put those together and get them on the car today. Some Viking double adjustable shock for the Fox Body Mustang. These are the 150 pound springs. Hopefully, they're enough. Uh, they're for drag racing, and I think you get heavier for the street. Up to like 250 or something. Uh, this is for the axle. Hold onto the axle, and this is to go into the shock tower. I'm going to go over these instructions and put, start putting it together. Okay, instructions say to install this lock nut first with the shoulder up. That's the shoulder. And then this one with the shoulder up. Which that's the shoulder. That's the thrust washer kit that came with it. Two zero two six three eight. All right, this is designed to just go over the shaft or push the shaft through there like that. I just slid it in there and pushed it down. Now all I gotta do is get this stuff together here. Yeah. There it is all put together. Now I'm going to take the shocks off, the original shocks, unbolt them down here, lower the car, and unbolt them from the shock towers. And the other side. Here i got to remove the uh, trim or coverings or whatever. 
got buttons along the sides and the back. There's really no good way to record doing this, but I'm just going to pull this back and push that stuff up out of the way and unbolt that. And then do the other side. Gonna have to jack the car up a little bit because I'm a couple inches shy of being able to bolt it right on. Okay, I struggled through getting those on without taking off it. I used one of the spacers, one of the spare spacers, because um, this was thicker than what they expected when they sent it to me. I might have to get longer bolts because the, these are barely at the edge of the nut, so they probably aren't locking or whatever. So I'll address that later. up in there so I'm gonna do the other one now That was kind of a pain, but I got it. Oh, it might have been easier just to take it off right there and buzz those in with a freaking ratchet that I'm dumb, so I did it the hard way. The instructions say one third of the way from the bottom of the threads to the shock. And that's eight inches. So that's about two and a half inches, approximately. Okay, so I'm gonna, that's at an inch and seven sixteenths. I'm just gonna try and see what it looks like. Okay, that leaves a one inch of travel. So in order to run it like that, Still, that's almost bottomed out. So, if I'm going to run it at that height, I'm going to probably have to get something to something to lower this down. I'm going to have to bring that up because otherwise, it's just going to constantly be bottoming out on on the shock. And there's almost an inch there too, so it'll be really close to just bottoming out on that shock which we probably don't want. Okay, I'm just taking the weight off of it like this. So it's 
easier on the threads when I adjust it. and a half to the spring. That's even. Lock them down. How trick are Guess I need two of these to do that. Now I'll drop it down. See what it looks like. Gained about an inch. I'll run it up more. Okay, that's two and a half inches. Yeah, uh, big changes on the spring don't really equal big changes at the wheel. So um, I'm gonna leave it like that for now. Only gained a little bit, moving it a whole inch. Didn't gain an inch. Every inch you move the spring, it seems to only gain a quarter or a half an inch. But I'm gonna wait till the engine's in and because it seems like it's got maybe more weight than it normally would on the back tires. So I think that's it. Okay, that concludes this video. Got the uh coilovers installed, and I guess next I'm probably gonna mess with the brakes a little bit. I need to plug a well it's gonna be a day or two probably before I do that because I still don't got all the parts I need but that'll probably be the next thing I do thanks for watching